Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be explaining linearity property of Z-transform. So to explain linearity property of Z-transform, we need to have two signals. So if we have signal 1, that is x1 of n, and if it's Z-transform, that is x1 of Z, and if we have second signal, that is x2 of n, and if it's Z-transform, that is x2 of Z, then linearity property states that a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n z transform that has to be a1 x1 of z plus a2 x2 of z. So this is what linearity property of Z transform. Now let us have proof of this property. So now I'll explain proof of this property. So for that, if I consider this signal as X of N, so if I say X of N, that is equals to A1 X1 of N plus A2 X2 of N. And now if I want to calculate Z transform of it and then that Z transform has to be this signal. So Z transform of X of N that is that is X of Z. So that is what Z transform of X of N. And the basic formula of Z transform that we all know that is summation N varies from minus infinite to infinite x of n z to the power minus n. Now we can place x of n over here in this formula. So if we place that then summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n into z to the power minus n. Now we can separate out these two terms. So if we separate that you will be having summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite a1 x1 of n into z to the power minus n plus a2 x2 of n into z to the power minus n. So this is what now I have separated now. Now if I write this two summation separately then this a1 that we can take it out of this summation as a1 is constant. So a1 into summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite x1 into z to the power minus n plus here a2 is constant so a2 summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite x2 of n into z to the power minus n so here we can say this is z transform of x1 of n and this is what z transform of x2 of n. So we can say this is what a1 x1 of z plus a2 into this is x2 of z. So this is what we have proved. This is linearity property of z transform as I have mentioned earlier. So linearity property states if you have two signals a1 of n and a2 of n and its z transforms are x1 of n and x2 of n and their z transforms are x1 of z and x2 of z then linearity property states a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n z transform is a1 x1 of z plus a2 x2 of z so this is how we can prove this linearity property i hope that you have understood this session Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on it in future I will make videos which will be solving your queries. Thank you so much.